expand into home decor ideas as well and this particular video is the first project in this category and you'll be seeing many more coming out in the same category and I hope you like this video please try to make it on your own and share it amongst people who have the same interest thanks for watching so you'll be needing a cardboard cover it with fabric this is how it should look and the next thing you need is a bottle a middle water bottle now you need to remove the bottom and the top part of the bottle and it should look somewhat like this and next you paint it in any color of your choice I've chosen black similarly you can use different size of bottles to make different pots and you can also make simple patterns on them which would make them look more cute as I have done here Okay then once you're ready with the pots, you need to arrange them on the base and once you're satisfied with the way they look, you can fix them to the base by using a hot glue gun. Next we'll be making flowers. You need to fold some sheets of craft paper, draw a basic flower on it and cut it out. I have multiple cutouts over here. Now take two sheets, two cutouts of flowers, stick them together using an adhesive and I'm also adding a little pearl to it so it makes it look more cute. To make the stem I've taken a wire and I'm going to wrap it with some brown paper tape. The brown tape would give it a more realistic look and this could be the stem of the flower and once you're done I'm going to stick the flower onto the stem this is how the flower would look and you can make a bunch of flowers using the same technique and you can try this in any color you want once you start with the flowers i've taken some weed grass from the garden and some dried sticks and now i'm going to place them randomly into the different pots there was the white set of flowers then the sticks and i'm going to add the pink flowers over here and the wheat grass for the curious one. Now I'm going to tie a thin rope at both the ends of the cardboard plank. Place the rope beneath the plank and tie a knot. And you have to repeat the step on the other side also. Just a simple knot like that. This is how it would look once you've tied up the rope to both the ends. And that's the final product. Isn't it amazing? So, I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel Enswell, where we inspire to create something new every day. 